Lying Down in Somerset is a place I often come to when I'm on retreat. For me, it's a place where I encounter God. The first time I came to Breen Down, I knew nothing about it at all. And when I got down to the headland, I found a fort. I discovered that the fort was built in 1865 to protect major ports from French invasion. Many years later, in World War II, it was armed with anti-shipping guns, but in all its years this fort had never fired a shot in anger. An awful lot of drills and practices happened, but this fort never saw any live action, and now it was just a tourist attraction. Overlooking the fort, I found a rock to sit on so that I could pray. And as I prayed, what really struck me was that here was something that was created for a purpose that it never fulfilled. Now, in some ways, that's really good, of course, but now it was just a tourist attraction where people could come and find out more about what was supposed to have been done in the past. And that got me thinking and praying. What about our churches? Have we built and maintained churches that were created for a purpose that is not being fulfilled? Have our churches become like tourist attractions where people can come and find out about what was supposed to happen in the past? And the more I prayed, the more my heart cried out, Lord, have mercy. Sitting there, the Lord spoke to me and reminded me that the church is his church and not ours. Jesus says, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. He says to us, follow me and seek first the kingdom of God. We're not to be concerned about building the church. That's Jesus' job. We are called to focus on making disciples and that includes making disciples of ourselves. To help us to do this, Jesus says that he's giving us the keys to the kingdom. I think that what this means is that as we follow Jesus and share Jesus, we're inviting others into an experience of kingdom community. We're opening up the possibility of life in all its fullness to those who've no inkling of what is on offer. I'm challenged by the fort at Breen Down, and I hope that you are too. Is there a possibility that our churches have been created for a purpose that is not being fulfilled? I believe that the heart of this generation of God's people is to be faithful to God's call, that we will welcome Jesus as he continues to build his church and be willing to live in the dynamic reality of all that this might mean going forward. Let's fulfill our purpose. Let's grab the keys God has given us and use them as much as possible. May our lives and community be so beautiful that when others see and experience church, it's not like some historic tourist attraction, but a living and vibrant community of love and faith with Jesus Christ at the centre.